guys, and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2012 Buick Verano. The dealership I am at is Auto Credit Canada. Their website is autocreditcanada.com and the link will be in the description to their website. If you see any, any cars here you'd like me to do, as well as Be sure to drop in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get them for you. Without further, further delay, let's get this one going though. This vehicle does come equipped with remote start. So, now that we've got her started up, let's show you around the outside. Starting off with the front driver corner. These are 18 inch aluminum wheels riding on 235 45 18 tires. Continental Pro Contact tires. Double five spoke pattern. And coming up to the side, when you should see the whole car, you'll see it is a metallic gray color with chrome accents around the windows and on the door handles. Around to the back, you'll see chrome exhaust tip, symmetrical looking back end with the Buick symbol right in the middle, Buick Verano. Horizontal taillights with a chrome bar above them, with a shark fin antenna. Open up the trunk, you'll see it. it's a fairly big trunk. For a compact car, it's very good size, with a 60-40 split rear seat. Hooks in there, and here is your floor mats for the interior. Underneath here, you'll find your not quite full-size spare, but not quite donut spare, it seems like. Again, a little handle right here to grab from if you're too short. I'm not sure why they put it there. And an emergency release if you're ever stuck in the trunk. Closing the trunk is very easy. It, softs, it closes very softly. Coming around to the side, this side you'll see same colors and everything. It looks really good shape. Up to the front, you'll see it has projector headlights and fog lights with blue halo rings around the headlights. High beams are still reflectors and you have chrome bezels around the fog lights as well as little vents in the hood. Very Buick style there. So. Coming to the interior, I'm just going to pop the hood, but first, I already know how GM cars are. They have to, which is a safety feature they have. Since this is remote started right now, if I was to open the hood, it would shut off. So, what you do is put the key in and turn it on. I'm going to put down the driver window, which is automatic. And we are going to... Pop the hood. Under the hood of this, you have a 2.4 liter inline four, which puts out 181 horsepower at 6,700 RPMs and 171 foot pounds of torque at 4,900 RPMs. The fuel mileage you expect to get with this car is 9.9 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers on the highway. Very good running, very clean engine bay in this car. Coming on to the interior, you'll see it is a black and gray mix with grayish brown wood accenting and aluminum accenting. 
Your power mirrors are located here, your power locks are right here, and your power windows are right here. You have a small pocket in the driver door which is mirrored on the passenger door. Looking at this, the door panel kick, you have a Buick badged protector plate and coming onto the interior you'll see a manual driver seat with leather accent around the outside and cloth inserts on the inside. We'll step on in now. Close up the door. Close is very solid. Close up the window, which is also auto up. And we'll start going through the interior. We will turn the fan off. And you'll see from this side you have your headlight switch with your fog light on and off button right there. And right here your gauge cluster light. A vent located right here to the left of the cluster and for gauge cluster all you have is RPM, temperature, gas gauge, and speedometer. Very very nice looking gauge cluster. Coming up to the steering wheel you'll see it's a leather wrapped steering wheel which is very smooth nice feeling leather. Coming down to your Buick airbag, badged, right in the center. Your dash is a mix of hard plastics and soft plastics. You do have a little speaker up here, and there's your auto headlight ball. Opening up your visor, you'll notice you have a lit mirror in each visor. Passenger and driver. Up to the top here, you'll see your auto dim mirror with OnStar, dome lights, and ability to make it turn on, off, or knock, only come on with the doors. Sunroof switches are right here. I'm not going to open the sunroof today because it is in the minus temperatures. Coming across the center stack, you'll see you have a large screen with the date, time, temperature, and traction control buttons right here, your hazards, airbag, trunk release, your presets, and all your radio buttons are right here. It's a little buttony, I find, but it has all the functions you need. Displayed up here on, I believe it is a touch screen, but I can't be certain on that one. Down here you'll see all your climate controls. Kind of small knobs, if you ask me. Uh, and not, and they're kind of close together too. But, fan speed, defrost, rear defrost, air conditioning, recirculate, all the basic needs of a, all the basic needs dual zone climate control and right in here you have one power plug right here with your shifter right here being mated to a six speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability across the dash you'll see the glove box is damped and it's a large glove box so, and this has locking wheel nuts because that's in here. Two tier glove box has a pocket right up here and a pocket down below. There we go. Coming to your center console, here is your electronic parking brake. I'm not going to engage, I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> a little storage pocket, two cup holders, and a single tier center console with USB and auxiliary right here. Now I'm going to set this seat for me. I feel it is set for me right, right now. 
and I would feel comfortable driving this car as the seat is. So, let's open up the door again, open up this window, and we'll go visit the back seat to see if I fit behind myself. Coming to the back, you'll see the same materials used. Very nice quality in the back seat. Wood grain accent with black and silver, well, black and gray. Leather inserts with a little storage pocket here and a speaker in the lower portion of the door. Stepping in. It's actually not bad. The cutaway is perfect for people my height, about six feet. So, I could be in the back of this car comfortable for a while. Sunroof does have a door to close it up and make it so that it's not heating your head up. For headroom, I have a fair bit actually. It's not too bad. You have curtain airbags, frontal airbags, and seat airbags in this too. So, getting out of this car, it is a little bit tight, being that the door panel is quite deep, but it's not too bad, it's doable. So one more little pan around, I'll show you the ticket price, and then on to the next one. Really good looking car. 2012 Buick Verano. 2.4 liter. Front wheel drive. 18 inch aluminum wheels. 51,000 kilometers on it. And the price is 14,995. Automatic transmission. And if you'd like to see it bet in depth more, you can give the dealership a call. If you like it, well, you can buy it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, and share the video. Have a great day, everyone.